At least 25 people were killed and eight injured in a brutal attack by extremist group Allied Democratic Forces on a secondary school in western Uganda. The assailants burned dormitories, looted food and kidnapped an unknown number of people during this deadliest attack in years. Russia's military tactics in Ukraine's war are evolving, with improved discipline and coordination setting up a tough fight as Ukraine launches its counteroffensive. Despite uneven capabilities, Russia's forces now use drones, probing attacks, and have adapted air support tactics, posing a harder challenge for Ukraine. As floodwaters recede following the destruction of the Kafka Dam in southeastern Ukraine, officials brace for potential waterborne disease outbreaks. With hundreds of residential areas still submerged, concerns rise about widespread pollution and illness as Ukraine's forces continue their counteroffensive against Russian-occupied territories. Biden administration is trying to broker a diplomatic deal between Saudi Arabia and Israel. Riyadh wants a nuclear deal and a robust U.S. security pact in exchange for normalization of relations between the two countries. The chances of a deal are less than 50 percent. French firefighters described the wildfires in Quebec as unstoppable as they struggle to contain record-breaking blazes. Over 400 fires sweep across Canada, notably Quebec with its highly flammable boreal forest, exacerbated by climate change and sending hazardous smoke as far as New York City. The Taliban government's reliance on WhatsApp faces disruptions due to U.S. sanctions, causing widespread account blocks and highlighting the platform's essential role in their administration. Unable to access alternatives, officials adapt by opening new accounts and using workarounds to continue official communications. At least four people were killed and nine went missing as a winter storm battered Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil, with heavy rains on Friday. The extratropical cyclone caused flooding and landslides, forcing over 1,700 residents to seek shelter. The state's agriculture also faced severe threats due to the extreme weather conditions. A military judge is set to decide if confessions from former CIA prisoner Abd al-Rahim al-Nashiri accused of plotting the USS coal bombing are admissible in trial, following years of torture and isolation that could have rendered his accounts unreliable. The verdict will impact the future of Guantanamo Bay interrogations and CIA prisoners. Binance reaches a compromise with the SEC to keep operating in the U.S. while battling a government lawsuit, safeguarding customer assets in the process. The agreement ensures Binance U.S. customers' funds are strictly accessible by the U.S. exchange and not Binance's international operation or founder Chongpeng Zhao. Parents and experts express growing concern over social media's impact on teens' mental health, with the Surgeon General warning of potential harm. However, research to pinpoint specific causes is limited, leaving parents and policymakers in need of clear guidance. In the meantime, experts recommend setting limits, discussing experiences, and modeling responsible internet use. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to get your daily dose of news.